me I made a mark so I can go sign it. What is going on, everybody? Got another bat review for you guys, and this time we have the Onyx Firstborn 240 U-Triple-S-A. This features the CFT technology with a 13-inch barrel. Uh, I believe they say it has a half-ounce end load. You can order this, these in sizes from 24 ounces all the way up to 28. Um, as far as the handle, they basically say it's a 3,500 handle flex. Um, the one we got here in the video is a 26 ounce, by the way. But as you can tell, this paint job looks like the ASA first barn, but the biggest difference on these compared to some of the other stuff, you're gonna see the handles. The handles are thinner on these newer bats. So as you can see, the top bat here is the previous model. And then we got a little bit of a thinner handle there on the first born, the U-Trip version. Um, so you're gonna start seeing a lot more thinner version, th thinner handles on their new bats. This bat scaled in at 25.6 ounces. The end load came in at 17.6 and the handle at seven even. Um, we also tested this bat new in the wrapper at 300. Um, we're out here at Heritage High School in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Um, the field is 300 foot all the way around. I've got Ben, Aaron, Jackson, Chad, and Garrett out there hitting with me. Um, this field is kind of on a hill and out there in left field um, is Forestville Road and it's a very busy road. So we were hitting them out there, man, and we were having some issues because we were really worried about hitting cars. We kind of had the wind behind our back that night, so we were launching them out of there, man. Um, the guys were, and not necessarily myself, but um, we're hitting a mix of uh, some evil uh, BP rockets, some classic M's, some pro M's, and some evil icons. But most of the balls we got are pro M's. Um, but, man, I'm going to let you guys listen to us hit this bat and uh, let you hear it, let you see how it's coming off the bat. And then at the end of the video, um, I'm going to follow up with our overall review, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned to the end of the video, and uh, we'll let you know what we think of the bat, okay? Damn, that bounced over. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, pepper to build. Sheesh! That's out of here. <laughs> Way outside. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I hear the car, bro. That's what you're going to hear. <laughs> I'm going to keep them down. You should see me, Chad. As soon as you hit it, I, before you hit it, I went like this. That's not good. Uh, that bat sounds good. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was a live drive, dude. I can't do nothing about that. Try to keep it on the side of the building. Yeah. I'm barely 
really swing it. Did that one well. Yeah, I'm gonna take that was it well. Good cut. Three. Boom. Oh. <laughs> so be like you get. There it is. It's amazing how he hears you now. <laughs> Did that ball really do like a gyro? You saw us just get done hitting. Um, the gals were crushing the ball out there. We were we were worried about it at field because in left field it's 300, but there's a huge drop off down there and it's a busy road down there. And we were so scared we were going to hit some cars. Well, we did. We hit some cars, but nothing drastic happened. So and we didn't get in trouble, thank God. But um, first thing you'll notice about the bat, because it's being an onyx, you notice that the handle. Um, as you can tell, I showed you earlier, but you can look how much of difference is in the handle, how much thick, thinner these are. This was last year's uh, El Jefe, the one I did a review on. Um, the next thing you'll notice besides the handle is the inload. Um, this has got a, um, a hefty amount of inload to me in my pen. Not a crazy amount, but it feels heavier than a half ounce. Almost to the take that I would really in, in prefer a 25 ounce for myself, but you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a killer um, hitter. But, um, but with the end load that you got on this, which was like a 17.6, I believe, and you got a seven even on the handle, you don't really have any counterweight in the handle, so all the weights here, and then you got a long barrel, so it can kind of be a little barrel heavy. But um, 
without the, the weight and the handle, it's just gonna feel more inloaded, which is not a bad thing because most people wanna inload it back. Um, dude, from swing one with the thing, it felt good. Uh, I put about 150 swings on this thing with the um, with a T hitting some Evil 52 pluses. Then I put another 50 on it, just myself with Dakota at the field. Guys and us, we hit out there at Heritage, put around 150 or more on it there. And then me and Chad hit again um, this weekend. We were just kind of taking some BP just to have BP, and we hit this some more. So this thing is just uh, is under 100, uh, under under a 400 swings, but it's still testing 245, 250. Um, we threw everything at it. Um, it didn't have really any hard balls e other than um, evil BP rockets, but uh, it's going to last you. Um, you really don't see any webbing. Um, I got a few scratches on it, but it, that's from the ground. But a uh, big, soft, sweet spot. Um, I know it says it's a CFT technology, but it, it doesn't feel like the CFT. It's soft. But if you ever notice with the CFT, it had like a dull feel to it. Uh, this doesn't feel dull. It just it's got a, it's got a little bit of a crack to it when you hit it, but not like some of your other stuff. But man, overall everybody liked this bat. Big sweet spot. You definitely are even if you miss hit it, you're you're still in the sweet spot because the sweet spot is so big. But like I said, be wary of the weight. Other than that, man, this is this is a good bat. I mean, it's one of the top 240 bats I've swung. Um, in the handle, as far as a 3500 handle. Uh, not crazy amount of flex. It's like swinging a mic and a worth. And that's kind of what this felt like, a well-broken-in mic and worth on the barrel song. Um, no ting, of course. But, uh, man, we, we really thoroughly enjoyed this bat. Um, Onyx, Onyx made a good bat this time. Um, but uh, stay tuned. They've got some more on the Dominate line. Check those out. That's over there at Mike Nino's um, website. But I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And we'll talk to you later. Thank you.